Tracy and I decided we were going to illustrate our own comic book and then we'd go down to Cosmic Monkey to sell it for March for Babies. When I went into this, I had no idea how long this would take. We were at the event and we went downstairs. Oh my god! This guy had a catacomb of comic books. The race started at 9. We didn't get here until 9.30. This way? So we're walking around without a map? That's not good. I took the time to plan Allison's surprise barbecue. Shh. I'm kind of nervous because I have no clue if she knows or not. I'm just a regular guy who works nights and has a family. But for three years now, I've roamed the streets as a costume activist named Zeta Man. Along with Agent Null and other civil-minded individuals, we seek out different avenues to make an impact in our city. We aren't millionaires, nor do we have superpowers, but that doesn't stop us from finding new and interesting ways to make a difference. Being the change you want to see in this world isn't easy. We're giving it a shot. This is The Real Adventures of Zeta Man. Yeah, uh, my mom My mom was talking about it. She said, oh yeah, you know, Zeta Men are, you know, a sect of Catholic women. I'm like, oh, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Very big in uh, Spain. You're familiar with the Bill Murray movie, The Spy Who Knew Too Little? Yeah. Did you know in Germany the title of that film is Agent Null? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Dead serious. That's sweet. <laughs> Our next charity project that we decided to do was to do a fundraiser for March for Babies. March for Babies is a yearly walkathon that helps raise money for premature babies. So it's a pretty cool event. Tracy and I decided we were going to illustrate our own comic book and then we'd go down to Cosmic Monkey to sell it to help raise money for the event. And afterwards, we would have the Seattle guys come down and we would participate in the walkathon as well. Tracy and I were going to divide the comic book in half. He illustrates one side of the comic book, I illustrate the other side. The method I used was I would draw an image, I would scan it, and then I would use Photoshop to make a panel, put the image on and do the letter, do it all on a computer. Tracy was doing it the correct way, actually. For some insane reason, I insisted on doing this old school, where I just draw everything on the panel right there. Big mistake. You start off with your pencil, you know, you sketch the people, you know, you sketch your backgrounds, and then you go through with like either a darker pencil or a lighter pencil and just kind of like finish out the sketch, the pencil sketches. And then you got to go back through that and finish that out with the ink. Then hopefully by then you have it screwed up and have to erase somewhere and start the whole process over again. But if you're lucky, you can scan it and put words to it and it's ready. It's really good. It's kind of missing like some kind of body flavor. I don't know. Garlic. Isn't it more meat or something? Ilya and I have been married for eight years. It's a very different relationship. It's not very conventional. He works overnight. I work in the daytime. So we don't have a lot of time together, but we see each other on the weekends. And that's when we run around and have fun and go on dates and patrol. Maybe I should just cook a little bit more. But it is really good. It's really good and spicy. When Ilya and I got married, we had decided we were going to start a family, and it wasn't as easy as we thought it was going to be. We did get pregnant once, didn't carry to term. We're not going to give up, though. It's going to be a long road, more than likely. Now for the secret ingredient. Yes, we always put cats in our chili. Yeah, you're walking down Anik. Am I a bodybuilder? Uh, oh, no, that's not scary. I look like like Thor's wife. Like, like there you go. These things, you know. As a kid growing up and as a young adult, I've always wanted to be a comic book artist. Unfortunately, you know, life gets in the way. I have to make money, so, I, you know, something like that I had to kind of put away aside. But, you know, it's actually really, really cool to take something I've always wanted to do in my life and actually apply it to a charity work. I told you about the uh, tentative title I, I had. The Real Fake Adventures of Zeta Man. I thought it fit considering we've never once fought aliens. I've never once fought you. <laughs> Speak for yourself, I fight aliens all the time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. As near as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. You know, I wanted to do something artistic with my life. It's very cool on the one hand that I can work like my love of writing and my love of creation into a story. On the other hand, it's it's really, there's a little bit, there's a lot of doubt whether this is gonna work. 
but when I went into this, I had no idea how long this would take. It took all night just to do three pages. We spent all night illustrating the comic book, and we unfortunately did not get done. So with a week before the event, we figured we would spend that time improving our comic book, and within a week, we would have no problem getting this done. Today is the day that we are going to go get our comic book printed up. We went down to pick up Tracy, and we found out that he had not finished the last two pages of his comic book, nor he had done any lettering. I was upset, but I was also stressed at the fact that we were also running late. We have to get this done as quick as possible so we can get to Cosmo Monkey on time. We spent two hours trying to finish Tracy's side of the comic book. The only problem was because I rushed through trying to get everything done, some pages weren't print to size, so everything was just misaligned. We decided to scrap the comic book. Uh, it was not going to happen that day. Now we have to go to our own event, and we have no product to give out to anybody. I don't feel angry towards Tracy. Um, I really don't. I'm kind of disappointed because when you kind of say, hey, I can, I'll, I'll totally do this with you and I'll help you out, you know, I kind of, I start depending on you. I could tell he was angry, he was upset. You know, he, he was counting on me. The, he was counting on me to be able to pitch in and help out and get everything, get, you know, and fulfill, to complete my obligations and I couldn't. No, I, I just spent 50 bucks on printing and I could have donated that money to the March for Babies instead. Now I'm not even going to get a comic book print. We're three hours late to our own event, and we just we just lost that money. So I don't know how I'm going to justify it, but happy. if I'd got my stuff done on time, we we could have had some extra time to work all this stuff out, you know. We're supposed to have a comic book event. We don't have a product. How much worse can it get? Unless aliens were to actually come out and start vaporizing people, and we'd have we'd be the only line of defense. Don't see how it's getting any worse.